All right, friends, so we are here to do our human body three assignment, and we're going to be talking about the difference between inherited and acquired traits. As always, make sure that you're pausing and rewinding as you need, so that way you can have a perfect understanding and be able to get down those notes. Of course, you can take them on paper throughout the video, but you do also have a graphic organizer for this lesson. If you want to go ahead and just fill in those notes directly on that graphic organizer, that would be great as well. This is what you're going to be turning in for this Canvas assignment. All right, so what are traits? So traits are characteristics. Characteristics such as eye color, height, um, hair color, fur color in animals, flower color in uh, plants, how many seeds plants have, all of these different characteristics, ways that I can describe something. And so there's two types of traits. The first one is inherited. These get um, these are gotten from parents before birth. So for example, my eye color is brown. That's an inherited trait. Both of my parents have brown eyes. I got that trait uh, before I was born. I got that trait as I was, uh, while my mom was pregnant with me. In terms of hair color, in terms of height, in terms of uh, uh, what type of dog for puppies, all of those are inherited traits. And then we have acquired, which can either be learned or acquired. And these are gotten after birth from the environment around them. When I cut my hair, and now I have short hair, that's an acquired trait. Um, if you, and I'm trying to think about other ones, if you learn something, that's an acquired trait. It's not something that you were born with. So there's lots of different types of inherited traits. These are just a few, but like I was saying, plants can inherit the flower color and position, the seed color and shape, what their leaves look like, their stem, and these are just some of them. For animals, including humans, they can inherit traits such as fur color and length, eye color, tail length. Obviously, that's not for humans because humans do not have tails. Ear shapes, all that sort of stuff. These are the things that they are born with. Your inherited traits are what you are born with. Now, we've talked a lot about parents, and you're also going to hear the term offspring. Offspring means the same as children. Some offspring look just like their parents, especially in the animal world. Like if you have a, a black and white lemur, that baby's gonna look just like that mama and daddy, it's just gonna be smaller, right? So some offspring look just like their parents. And some experience individual variation. This is what we see a lot in humans, but we see it in other animals as well. And uh, plants for that matter as well. And they experience this individual variation. So each individual is variated or slightly different. Um, because offspring receives traits from both parents. And so therefore they can be similar to both parents but not exactly the same. If you've ever seen like a litter of puppies and maybe let's say like they're lab puppies, some of them are yellow, some of them are black, some of them are brown, they're all similar to their parents because maybe their dad was a black lab and their mom was a yellow lab. So they're similar but they're not exactly the same because they inherited traits from both parents. I go ahead and progress to the assignment for this lesson. Remember that you're filling out that graphic organizer. You can fill it out either with the information that I've shared in this video or by reading that link, uh, that linked article, whatever works best for you. Please make sure that you share it with me and turn it in. 